Hey everyone, Dr. John Dempster here and I'm excited to talk to you on this beautiful day today about a very important topic and that is sun health. I'm also going to talk to you about some sun myths. We've been told all sorts of things about what we should do, what we should not do. And one of the biggest myths is that we should actually be avoiding sun. Well, this couldn't actually be further from the truth. If we want to look at reducing our risk of certain illnesses such as skin cancer, some sun has actually been shown in the re recent literature to be helpful. Why does this work? Because it helps promote vitamin D production on your skin. When that happens, you absorb it into your body. And then we're seeing big links between higher vitamin D levels and lower skin cancer levels. Another very popular myth is that we need to be looking at all different types of sunscreen to put on our body. We've got to be very careful here because there are certain sunscreens that actually have very damaging chemicals. Two chemicals to watch out for, one is called oxybenzone. This is an endocrine disruptor. This means it breaks down your hormones. We don't want that to happen. The other one to watch out for is called retinal palmitate. And retinal palmitate is an actual carcinogen, meaning it causes cancer. So we can see we're being fed all sorts of information here that we have to be very careful about how we use it. Two sunscreen ingredients that you want to look for are zinc oxide and titanium oxide. These are very protective for your skin. They don't have any side effects and they are naturally forming. So this is something that you will be able to find not only in a, a natural health food store but also in many main pharmacies now. And this is important because we do have to be very careful about the amount of sun we get. It's not about getting a lot and being reckless. We do not want to burn, guys. This is very, very important. And there are a large number of foods that can actually really help uh, preserve your skin. One of these are avocados, lentils, nuts and seeds. These all have very healthy oils and very healthy fats. Another area of nutrition that can be very helpful in preserving your skin and reducing skin damage are antioxidants. And these are found often in fruits and vegetables. Anything from the color of the rainbow, reds, yellows, greens, purples, these will all have very uh, important pigments and constituents in there that are going to help preserve your skin. So those are some quick tips everyone. Get outside, have some fun, but at the end of the day, don't burn. Put a hat on, put a shirt on, and make sure you don't burn, but have fun. And until next time, I'm Dr. John Dempster.